Welcome back everyone. Today we have a 2022. It's a Winnebago Hike 172 BH. This one's got that cool roll cage looking thing. You can zip on accessories, do all that kind of cool stuff. Gonna walk around this one just because it's a little smaller, a little shorter. Kind of nice to kind of see it. Nifty little storage here. You've got my uh, booster jet pack on there. I'm kind of moving around. Water heaters over here. You got the power buttons right there for the stabilizers. A little slide out. Off road tires. It steps up a bunch. Uh, the frames are a lot different on these. They're not all welded. So I'll just go on to kind of give you a quick look at kind of what that looks like. You got these little compression screws that hold everything together. Little uh, receiver on the back here. 150 pounds capacity. I know my camera doesn't always get the clearest words in these things, but exterior uh, stove here. So a little outdoor kitchen, a little bit of water, a little, little bit of camping space there. Is a uh, propane quick connect. Do have, like I said, some really nice aggressive off-road tires. Just gonna kind of show the axle on there. Everyone's always uh, curious kind of what they do. It's like you got a torsion there. Black tank flush. This is made with Asdel, of course. Got the badging there. And then uh, the rest is history, so to speak. Uh, 674 pounds is uh, what this is rated to uh, be loaded up with weight wise. So pretty straightforward there. There is a battery disconnect hiding down in there. And then uh, as we walk in, there are a few, a few things that I will point out that this one came in with uh, a couple issues and this is this is one of them that's loose until the screw is kind of backed off and then the bottom one is just uh, free floating that's an easy enough fix this one works just fine plenty of storage this one does have this big we'll call it master bed slash uh, booth dinette area Nice solidly mounted. There are some straps in here to kind of help with things if need be. And then, uh, of course, it does make into your master. I do like the lights in here. You've got two right up top and you've got two down below. So everything will be nice and bright. Keeping in mind, you will probably set up a shop to sleep here. You've got USBs on the wall. 110 up top. And the rest is kind of history. Power heat all that good stuff kind of getting into the meat and potatoes of it. it does have a convection microwave I'm a fan of those in any camper that we've got it's like we've got a traditional little RV fridge here so you know gas electric um, kind of coming back to where we came in it does come equipped with a television it does have a swing mount bracket back there so you can zip it around slide out buttons disc player, awning, and of course tank monitors are all sitting right there. Moving back into the kitchen. Nice big drawers. Not really sure what those extra pieces are for. Haven't noticed anything, so we'll assume it's good. Decent storage in here. There is a uh, sink cover, so you can definitely cover that up. This also has this cool whip out nozzle which I enjoy because then you can uh, do a little more cleaning these have a much more I don't know rounded or smooth feel this year so kind of impressed with that little bump stops kind of thinking of everything kind of sounds a little rubberish when you do it nice backlit this is a little switch that goes on and off a little LED strip underneath so hard to tell when you're standing here but if uh, you stick your head down far enough of course then you can see anything Looks like we've got some hanging over here. Some more pull-out drawers. Again, nice and smooth, big pieces. And then uh, backing up just a couple steps, we'll get into the bathroom. 
So this one is not an S and S, and if you uh, have questions on what that is, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it stands for, but basically you're going to sit and shower. That's not what it stands for, but that's what we're going to call it. So this one's actually got some room. The bathroom quarters are a little tight. It's a smaller unit, so it's to be expected. Roof vent over the shower, a little spot for shower curtain, all that good stuff. I don't know if I showed you this, but plenty of room down below. A little grab net down here, kind of utilizing all of the space. Nicely lit bottom bunk here as well. Again, kind of missing some power options, but not a big deal. 250 pound weight capacity up top. And then uh, kind of going through, this one does have some power here. I don't think I have to spell out exactly what's going on there. Real easy to attach, but again, that's how we're getting them in. These have been incredibly hard to get, any of the, the hikes. So if you guys are interested, obviously use this video for kind of what they're going to look like. This has been a popular floor plan. And uh, if it's relatively quick that you see this video, I might still have it in stock. Any other questions, comments, concerns, please use my email down below. Thank you much.